Hello, my name's Richard Dolan. I write about UFOs and the cover-up relating to all of that. My background is uh, that of professional training in the field of history. I was a doctoral student in U.S. Cold War studies at the University of Rochester when I became interested in the UFO problem. That was in the early, mid-1990s. And, in fact, I have to say that my obsession with this topic became so strong that it prompted me to leave academia and pursue the study of UFO history uh, on a full-time basis. As a result of my interest in that, I wrote a 500-page book which deals with the history of the U.S. military and intelligence community's interest in UFOs. That book is called UFOs in the National Security State. Uh, that covers the uh, pretty straightforward history from the 1940s to the early 70s. Volumes 2 and 3 are in progress, and Volume 2 I expect to have done later this year in 2008, covering from the uh, year 1973 to 1991. And then Volume 3 will uh, take it right to the present day. Well, my current project is to complete Volume 2. I've got about 350 pages of that done um, right into the mid getting into the late 1980s, so I see light at the end of this tunnel. Well, I, I do documentary shoots periodically. Uh, there's usually always something going on. Uh, when I speak at a conference, uh, typically there are people who are working on different projects, and sometimes they want me to put in a word or two for their what they're working on. I did a television show uh, about a year ago that aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. That was called Sci-Fi Investigates. I had a beard for that. We traveled around the country looking at all kinds of bizarre paranormal things, including UFOs and, and some other things, too. Disclosure is an idea. And I think it's the idea most analogous to the concept of an announcement uh, relating to the reality of UFOs. Most people, uh, when we think about this topic, ask the question, well, if this is such a big deal, why hasn't the president made an announcement or why haven't the aliens themselves landed on the White House lawn to announce themselves, and so on. And so, in a sense, disclosure is, is that from a presidential point of view. I think when you ask people what that means, it's the acknowledgement by the president of the United States or some equally elite official announcing the reality of an extraterrestrial presence on planet Earth here and now. Dis disclosure has many problems associated with it. First and foremost is, can people trust the truth of any kind of disclosure coming from any political power, in particular uh, the United States, which has been so implicated in the cover-up of this topic. Uh, we're in the year 2008. President George W. Bush is in the White House. And I think it's fair to say that the trust level within the U.S. and globally of this particular president is so low that anything that he would have to say on this would be, I think, considered problematic by a lot of people. So now, if he were to say that UFOs are real and aliens are here, it's not that people might not believe that. The, the question is, how is this information being presented? Is it being presented with a particular spin? Is the information being given total or complete or even accurate. Um, th the thing that people have to remember about disclosure is that if and when such an event ever happens, that we can't assume that it's going to be 100% truthful. And so people who research this topic and who care deeply about the issues involved here will have to be vigilant. It's not a matter of just simply allowing the powers that be to make some announcement and then to really control the parameters of that debate. Well, for instance, if a president were to make such an announcement that ET is here, this opens up a lot of questions, a lot of questions, because suddenly the thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands of people who have claimed to have had an alien abduction experience, suddenly these people might seem to be a little more credible than they were in years past. And so it's going to be necessary for you know, accurate and complete information on abductions to be forthcoming. Uh, also, 
um, issues concerning alien technology that might be in the possession of ultra-secret human groups. Uh, this has long been an issue among UFO researchers. It may not be an issue that the general public is really familiar with, but certainly if UFO ET reality becomes known or acknowledged in our society, then we have to start asking what kind of advanced technology has been in the possession of uh, secret military and industrial complexes. And if so, could any of these help us right now in our civilization? I mean, we're paying a lot of money for gasoline these days. Um, the future of petroleum availability is in doubt by many people. And so whatever these objects, these UFOs are using to propel themselves, we have to assume it's not high-octane gasoline, but something a lot more uh, sophisticated. And so it's going to be very important to get to the bottom of these. And then, if, then there are a host of other issues. What if we discover that some of these extraterrestrials look like us or maybe live among us? This has been discussed by a lot of people. It's been claimed by a lot of individuals who say they have knowledge on it. What if that's true? Uh, that can really complicate our politics dramatically to uh, suspect that you know your next door neighbor or some other person that you may not like might be one of them. Uh, you have the possibility of uh, a kind of a witch hunt coming up. Uh, or what if we learn that they have been manipulating us in various ways, that these non-humans are somehow manipulating human culture? Uh, what if we learn that, that some of them are really wonderful or they're here to help us? These are all issues that are possible. And so it's going to be necessary to be vigilant and not just blindly accept anything that the government's going to tell us on disclosure. Um, but the, the key is getting a disclosure to begin with. Because once that occurs, then in a sense that gives permission to our major institutions, academia, the scientific community, the uh, the world journalism community to begin to look into this and ask some questions and and hopefully get some results in terms of information. Up till now, there have been a lot of dedicated researchers in the UFO field, but the fact is they have no funding to allow them to do what they do, and a lot of these people do this in their part time to the best of their ability. But it's very difficult for any person to do this on a professional, full time basis. And so disclosure will allow the major institutions of this world to start digging into this issue.